Hey, hey, hey there, folks. I'm Pesca, bringing you another audio commentary. And uh, today I have a game for you between Remind and Lin. This is from a clan war currently going on between We Made Fox and MYM. And there was a clan war between these two clans yesterday, actually. Uh, and uh, We Made Fox narrowly won it. They won another tiebreaker. Uh, it was sort of so close. And uh, certainly it's probably going to be as close today. We Made Fox are currently 2 0 up. Uh, soccer having done very well against Lucifron, and uh, now it comes down to Lin versus Remind, and so obviously the pressure's on Remind. He has to win at least one of these two games to go into the um, two versus two, where Remind and Lucifron are such a powerful two versus two. And I know people love Moon and Soccer, but I feel Moon and Soccer have been sort of a bit less, a bit out of practice recently. They lost quite convincingly uh, yesterday in the two versus two. Actually, they probably should have won one of the games, but they had a couple bad TPs. Anyways, back to this game now. And we are seeing close spawn on Turtle Rock, which is always a very exciting matchup, which means that we could see, which is, I'd say it was an advantage for Elf. Uh, I'm sure people would disagree, but this is the internet, people always disagree. Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, you can get it, go for a sort of a very, very early Naga, and then, um, or I say very early, but as, as soon as you can, and then get a very early push, and uh, along with a fair few archers, that can be really powerful. Uh, we'll have to see if that's what Remind goes for, possibly, or he'll probably go for dots as well, just throwing a couple in with a very late tech to tier 3, uh, although he, he might just go for a standard tech, or he might go even for um, Hunter Song, maybe some sort of uh, bear dried combination. I remember Soccer played against Lin once, uh, close spawn on Turtle Rock, I think it was, and went for. Um, Ancients of War and Dryads, and that was a really strong strategy because he had obviously the tanking power of the Ancients of War. Actually, remind you using his whisk there, I think to block, yeah, blocking this um, peon from creating a, a um, voodoo lounge there, and so Lin Force created in, in a less favorable position. That's actually a really clever move there by Remind, something so simple to do, and it really hurts Lin's base build because it's going to mean that Remind's going to have easy access to killing these burrows if he does want to come to that. But meanwhile, Remind is now um, creeping out his. Uh, t is Turtle, and Lin's trying to steal the creep, will he manage to? No, he doesn't manage to with his peon, uh, and the peon will have to run away, because he knows he will be attacked any second, although Lin's actually coming back in, trying to steal it again, but not quite managing it, and Lin now moving straight into um, uh, Remind's base, going to try and pick off some wisps, this is something that's so common now, uh, if you can, as an elf, you just want to pick off as many wisps as possible, just try and cause as much damage as possible to the economy, and it's, it's just going to delay Remind's tech because he's going to have to produce enough wisps and uh, uh, to sustain himself and to be able to build all his tier 2 things right at tier 2 which is something that's obviously so important if you're going to go for this really fast push and uh, Lin just wreaking havoc, just killing wisps left, right and center he's killed five, four, sorry, four wisps already and it looks like uh, Remind's actually trying to get a bit of a block off of this Ancient of War but can't block, or, but can't set down the Ancient of War but is actually getting a bit of a block there with that Ancient of War uh, in the end he's managing to do a fair bit to, uh, of damage to the Black Master but that um, Food lounge will be now completed, so uh, then we can run back, heal up, and maybe go creep out or do some item creeping. Perhaps I'm not exactly sure what his uh, exact plan will be. And a remind now coming in, he has a full hit point demon hunter, so he may as well harass a bit. Unfortunately, he did pick up a mantle of intelligence, which isn't a great item for the demon hunter, but will be much better uh, a bit later on in the game, perhaps on a um, naga, perhaps on a beastmaster. Uh, Sort of, he has an endless choices really, and uh, the, looks like the Demon Hunter and the uh, Blade Master are gonna race for that boots, but it looks like Remind is gonna win that unless he's sort of accidentally spent all his gold. But he is doing a quick tech, so it's unlikely. He does buy his rust, and ooh, actually not buying boots. That's a bit surprising. Uh, Lin actually buy, being able to buy those boots. I'm not sure why Remind gave up those boots so um so easily because those boots are so useful for getting away from that Demon Hunter. And uh, meanwhile, Lin will just continue to creep. Obviously, just picking off this one ogre probably, uh, picking up the item and then going elsewhere and remind now I'm gonna actually do some creeping out of Lin's creeps here uh, but Lin might well yeah yet Lin has scouted this and so we'll try and steal these creeps obviously two grunts can do a lot of damage to the giant sea turtle if you attack them at the same time and uh, both sides know here that whichever one attacks first uh, the other side will get that creep so Lin being very careful not to attack it and now bringing his blade master and that blade master does have enough DPS to get that kill and actually get some uh, the uh, item and level 2 as well. Picking up Slivers of Agility, that's nice. Circle, that's very nice. And a Ring of Protection, certainly um, less good, but uh, considering how much tanking the, the Blademaster sometimes has to do in early game, uh, especially against uh, if, if there's dots or anything like that, Ring of Protection isn't the most terrible of items. But Remind now taking a lot of damage. We'll need to be on the run here. No man on the Blademaster, but he does have those boots. <laughs> I think that might be the end for this um, uh, Demon Hunter being forced to TP back. And uh, not a perfect base block, but I don't think Lin's gonna be able would be able to have uh, run into Remind's base anyways to try and get the kill. So uh, Lin just leaves it. It looks like 
And Lin, actually, I'm not sure what he's doing with his grunts now, obviously. Uh, he can't creep out the normal camp that you creep out once you hit tier 2. And uh, we, he is very nearly at tier, tier 2 now. And so he will be getting um, his second hero soon, probably a Torn Chieftain. Although, actually, against um, Close Spawn, a Shadow Hunter isn't bad, because Shadow Hunters tend to be very good early game, and uh, Torn Chieftains tend to be very good late game. So we'll have to see how. Um, uh, Lin wants to play this game, and uh, one Ancient of Wonders is going off, and Ryan's actually blocked off so much space in this space, that's going to mean that he can really put up his, uh, anci uh, his uh, Ancients of Wind quite happily, although he has left this little bit of a block here, and so um, if Lin actually b breaks his uh, Windwalk inside, this one hidden archer will block it in, but it looks like that isn't what Lin's plan is, and um, uh, b both sides I think now are tier 2, or sh yeah, both sides are now tier 2, and uh, we are seeing a Torn Chieftain from uh, Lin, so Lin probably going to be, or not going to be sort of going for a complete rush, but that is probably sensible considering that we're likely to see a fair few archers and dots, and we can see that Remind has gone for 6 archers as opposed to standard 1 generally, and so he is unable to actually do anything about that. Uh, and uh, Remind now running back in, and uh, looks like he will be trying to uh, take do a bit of damage to his Blade Master, but really should be picking up his second hero at this point, and then either doing some pushing or doing some creeping. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what his plan is. Lin, meanwhile, getting a, um, a very nice surround here on this tavern. If um, Remind tries to buy uh, his hero here now, it will be automatically surrounded. A very nice move there. Obviously, it's usually done with hidden archers, but this is just such a bold move, and there's really nothing that... Um, uh, Remind can do about it. He might have to just try and fight his way out because he really wants to get that second hero. He doesn't want to have to tavern a hero out. And he does actually buy a Naga, uh, which will now have to fight its way out. And Remind, um, actually, I think, yeah, Remind does have a staff, which doesn't have cooldown. So he might just have to staff at home. So that, that Naga is getting very low. He will need to be very careful. Done with three hit points and his TP back. And Lin uses a speed scroll, clearly trying to get a um, shockwave off on that. Uh, Naga perhaps catch them Ryan off guard, but meanwhile get, uh, just managing to get one off, get, kill one archer, but that demon hunter will get away. And so um, some really intense play, and Lin will, vo or sorry, I'm um, reminded of wasted a lot of moon juice very early on, just tealing up this Naga and. Um, Two engines of wind now coming up. One's almost done, and tier three tech's already started for remind. Meanwhile, from Lin, we are seeing a bestiary and no early spirit lodge. That's because he was worried about this push, which I guess still, still could happen. Although as soon as he scouts out that um, quick tier three tech, he will um, probably put up or be, be more inclined to put up a spirit lodge. And uh, actually, he really should be doing that sooner rather than later, because that could really hurt him. Uh, not having dispel as uh, can be really harsh as well as spirit link is just so nice. And uh, now we are seeing Remind, it looks like he's doing some pretty aggressive creeping. His Ancient of War isn't quite in position yet, but it will be um, pretty soon. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to push it, pull it back far enough uh, that he will be able to get the um, creeping done. And uh, he is, does use a dust as well, a bit preemptive, but I guess it's uh, not going to hurt. Although actually the Baymaster is now running in. Maybe he won't scout it. No, he will scout this out. And so this could cause a fair bit of trouble for Remind at this point. Remind now taking a lot of damage on one archer, uh, but and doesn't actually manage to cancel the clarity on that Blade Master either. Blade Master now moving back, probably hoping to take out this turtle uh, without actually, well, actually being out of line of sight, but uh, Fairy Fire being used on that turtle. So uh, he won't be able to do that. And this um, Blade Master does need to be careful now. Obviously, um, no Beastmaster, so we won't be seeing a Hawk in this game, unless he goes for it at tier 3, but it's very likely we'll see a um, Tinker at tier 3. And um, Lin now taking a lot of damage. I assume the uh, Torn Chieftain has been, yeah, Torn Chieftain has been creeping alone. Has now hit level 2 as well, so does have Endurance Aura, which is pretty nice. And um, Remind is left to a, a creep in peace, but gets a, a scroll of a beast, which certainly isn't the item that our Remind would have been hoping for. Probably wanted a um, Potion of Greater Healing or an Invon Pot, although I prefer a Potion of Greater Healing. And um, this one um, dot getting uh, ensnared, and uh, it is adept trained, but that will um, that won't stop it from going down because he can't use bird form while he's ensnared. And um, tier three has now finished for uh, remind as well. He is now just about to start his uh, tier three uh, dot upgrade, and really needs to be careful of some sort of push now. This is really when Lin's probably gonna have a very strong advantage. Lin actually taking down this um, ancient of war. I think he'd do well to push at this point because he doesn't. Or you know, he has a very late spirit lodge going up now, and uh, he isn't gonna have dispel. And so as soon as cyclone comes out in force, that's gonna really be a problem. And I think Lin might actually be too late, even if he pushes in now. Cyclone might not quite finish in time, although certainly with only one proper tanking hero, uh, Remind will be in a bit of trouble no matter what happens now. And uh, yeah, you can see um, Lin going straight for this push. Uh, he will probably be trying to focus down the heroes, or maybe the dots, but the dots are in pretty good position to be um, defended by the trees, or the ancients. And um, this Naga getting immediately uh, uh, ensnared, but yeah, finally getting TP'd back, and uh, still in a bit of trouble though. Naga leveling up, probably could use a fork lightning before he dies. Yeah, does lose a fork lightning, but then does go down. And uh, meanwhile, um, these uh, dots are taking a big, big pounding, and uh, really reminds in a lot of trouble in this game. And um, this uh, this demon hunter is really one of the very few units left. There's only a couple more dots. Uh, Lin probably will be forced to get out of the space in a 
maybe 30 seconds or so, but uh, you will have to see how much damage he can actually inflict in that time. Uh, tier 3 upgrade for Dots is now coming, but really only two Dots left, I think, now, and uh, sort of a couple more on the way, obviously, but one uh, main ship wouldn't going down. This is really not looking good for Remind at this point. Remind, uh, actually, I'm finally using Cyclone, and this is really what I said would force um, these units out, and uh, Ryan actually turning back, or Lin turning back, but um, Ryan sort of has a bit of a better block now. He is able to uh, use his Demon Hunter, he has two healing potions on it as well, so he can really do a bit of tanking, and um, he really sets up these dots do their work, and uh, he is managing to focus down one more, yeah, he does get one more Raider. There's some pretty nice play there by Ryan, and he will now get this one, um, actually another Raider kill as well, actually will he? Um, one more archer hit coming in, and that, that is enough to get the kill. And uh, actually one more um, Grunt here, that looks like he's been forgotten by Lin, a bit careless there will probably go down, we'll have to see, actually that Grunt actually making the best of his sort of doomed fate and does actually manage to get uh, one Wisp kill out of that before dying and uh, this um, Blade Master has Fairy Fire cast on it but, and, and so um, Remind will know what's happening but probably just buying a um, healing scroll and an Invon pot, yeah, um, buys both 